First Kings 11, Solomon's heart turns from the Lord. But King Solomon loved many foreign women, as well as the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Amorites, Edomites, Sidonites and Hittites from the nations of whom the Lord had said to the children of Israel, You shall not intermarry with them, nor they with you. Surely they will turn away your hearts after their gods. Solomon, Solomon clung to these in love, and he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For it was so, when Solomon was old, that his wives turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not loyal to the Lord his God, as was the heart of his father David. For Solomon went after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidians, and after Milcom, the abomination of the Amorites, Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord and did not fully follow the Lord as did his father David. Then Solomon built a high place for Chermosh, the abomination of Moab, on the hill that is east of Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the people of Ammon. And he did likewise for all his sovereign wives, um, who burned incense and sacrificed to their gods. So the Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart had turned from the Lord God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. He had commanded him concerning this thing, and that he should not go after other gods, but he did not keep what the Lord had commanded. Therefore the Lord said to Solomon, Because you have done this, and have not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded you, I will surely tear the kingdom away from you, and give it to your servant. Nevertheless, I will not do it in your days, for the sake of your father David. I will tear it down. I I will tear it out of the land, sorry, I will tear it out of the hand of your son. However, I will not tear away the whole kingdom. I will give one tribe to your son for the sake of my servant David and for the sake of Jerusalem, which I have chosen, adversaries of Solomon. Now the Lord raised up an adversary against Solomon, he Hadad the Edomite. He was a descendant of the king of Edom, for it happened when David was in Edom, and Joab, the commander of the army, had gone up to bury the slain. After he had killed every male in Edom, because for six months Joab remained there with all Israel, until until he had cut down every male in Edom. Then um, Hadad fled to go to Egypt. Um, he, and, he, and, he and certain Edomites to his father's servants with him. Hadad was still a little child when they arose from uh, Midian and came to Paran. And they took men with them from Param and came to Egypt. To Pharaoh king of Egypt, who gave him a house, appointed food to him, and gave him land, and Hadad found great favour in the sight of Pharaoh, so that he gave him um, as wife the sister of his own wife, that is, the sister of Queen Tapenes. Ta then the sister of Tapenis bore him um, Genubath, his son, who um, Tapenis weaned, weaned in Pharaoh's house, and Genubath was in Pharaoh's household among the sons of Pharaoh. So when 
Hadad heard in Egypt that David rested with his fathers and let, and that Joab, the commander of the army, was dead, Hadad said to Pharaoh, Let me depart, that I may go to my own country. Then Pharaoh said to him, Then Pharaoh said to him, But whatever have you lacked with me, that suddenly you seek to go to your own country? So he answered, Nothing but do it. Sorry, nothing but let me go anyway. And God raised up another adversary against him, Razan, the son of Eliada, who had fled from his lord, had Hadadazar, king of Zobar. So he gathered men to him and became captain over a band of raiders when David killed those of Zobar. And they went to Damascus and dwelt there, here and resigned in Damascus. He was an adversary, adversary of Israel all the days of Solomon, besides the trouble had Hadad caused. And he adored Israel and reigned over Syria. Jeroboam's rebellion, then Solomon's servant Jehoram. Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, an Eph Ephraimite from Zereda, whose mother's name was Zerua, a widow also rebelled against the king. And this is what caused him to rebel against the king. Solomon had built the millow and repaired the damages to the city of David his father. The man Jeroboam was a mighty man of valour. And Solomon seeing that the young man was industrious made him the officer over all the labour force of the house of Joseph. Now it happened at the time when Jero Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet uh, Ahijah, the um, Shulamite, met him on the way. And he had clothed himself in a new garment, and the two were alone in the field. Then Ahijah took hold of the new garment that was on him, and tore it in twelve pieces, and said to Jeroboam, Take for yourself ten pieces, for thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. Behold, I will tear the kingdom out of, your, of the hand of Solomon, and will give ten tribes to you. But he shall have one tribe, for the sake of my servant David, and for the sake of Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen out of the tribes of Israel, because they have forsaken me and worshipped Ash, Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonites, Chemosh, the god of the Moab, Moab, Moabites, and... Um, Milcom, the god of the people of Ammon, and, had, and have not walked in my ways to do what is right in my eyes, and keep my statutes and my judgments, and did my father David. However, I will not take the whole kingdom out of his hand, because I have made him ruler of all the days of his life for the sake of my servant David whom I chose because he kept my commandments and my statutes but I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand and give it to you ten tribes and to his son I will give one tribe and my servant David may always have a lamp before me in Jerusalem the city which I have chosen for myself to put my name there. 
so I will take you, and you shall reign over all your heart desires, and you shall be king over Israel. Then it shall be, if you need all that I commanded you, walk in my ways, and do what is right in my sight, to keep my statutes and my commandments, as my servant David did, then I will be with you and build for you an enduring house, as I built for David, and I will give Israel to you, and I, and I will afflict the descendants of David because of this, but not forever. Solomon, therefore, sought to kill Jeroboam, but Jeroboam arose and fled to Egypt. 2. Shish Shishak, king of, e king of Egypt, and was in Egypt until the death of Solomon. The death of Solomon. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon, all that he did and his wisdom, they were not on, are they not written in the book of the acts of Solomon and the period that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was 40 years then Solomon rested with his fathers and was buried in the city of David his father and Re Rehoboam his son reigned in his place.